Hey Church, good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. Pastor Matthew here again, uh, wrapping up our series on the book of Ruth. And you'll remember that the book of Ruth is a book about suffering, and it's a book for anyone who's trying to reconcile the love of God with the brokenness of this world. Now, we covered most of chapter 4 last time, but I left just the final few verses here to make one last point. We're given a genealogy at the very end of the book of Ruth, and in that genealogy, we find out that Ruth and Boaz ultimately uh, are the ancestors of the great King David. Now, if you're familiar with the history of the Old Testament, you know that David was the greatest of all the Old Testament kings. Um, and he's the, the king who points forward uh, to an even greater king, and that's Jesus. And so this highlights for us that God uses our suffering as part of his plan of redemption. God uses our suffering as part of his plan of redemption uh, for this world, Ruth and Boaz and Naomi had no idea that's what was going on. It would be after they were dead that David would come, and yet God knew. God knew that he was using them uh, for his purposes. And so the same is, is true for us. God uses our sufferings as part of his plan of redemption. Not in the exact same way, of course, um, but it's part of his providential plan for this world. And just as Ruth and Naomi and Boaz couldn't see all the good things that were going to come of their small time on earth, neither can we. Uh, but we can trust God in the midst of it because, of course, that plan of redemption includes Jesus' suffering more than any of us have suffered or any of us ever will suffer. It was his suffering on our behalf for our sins and uh, for this world for those who have faith in Jesus Christ. And so that's the final note that the book of Ruth ends on. It ends with a word of hope. We started with a king, remember Elimelech, uh, Naomi's husband who's died. His name meant uh, God is my king. And so we ask the question, if God is my king is dead, is God still the king? And we end this, uh, this chapter, the very end, with a bookend of a king. David is the last word here, at least in the ESV of the book of Ruth. And so we see, is God still the king? Yes. Not only is he still the king, he's using this situation uh, to bring his king. And so we can also take tremendous hope and comfort from that, knowing that God is also at work in our lives. If we are people who sacrifice, God uses normal people. He uses normal people like you and me when we choose uh, self-sacrifice over self-fulfillment. And just like Boaz didn't see the effects of that right away, we may not as well. Our consequences of our actions can ripple for generations. It was many generations later that David was born, and yet God sees you and he honors you as you walk with others in suffering, just like he did for Boaz. If you're someone who is suffering, God sees you and he hasn't left you alone. In the same way that he saw Naomi, even in her bitterness and her despair, he didn't abandon her in that moment, but he used her as well. As we saw in chapter 3, he used her prayers and he used her to answer those very same prayers. And so we can take heart, we can trust God in suffering, even if we don't understand. And we can hope in God because he's with us and he's providing for us. And we hope because, of course, David's the end of this story, but he's not the end of God's story. Our hope is in an even greater David, and that's Jesus. The New Testament presents him as greater than many of the figures of the Old Testament. He's a greater Moses, but he's also a greater David. He's the great king who's greater than any other king. And he's the king who's going to suffer for us and one day put an end to suffering. And so suffering is part of a greater story that God uh, is writing and has written for us. That was true for Ruth and Naomi, and it's true for us as well. And so no matter what we're facing or going through in this world, we can take tremendous hope and comfort if we belong to Jesus. Thanks so much for joining me over the last several weeks as we've looked at the book of Ruth. I've certainly enjoyed it, and I hope it's been helpful and encouraging to you, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.